and this is just a check in at the end of day six. So we've got some pretty good growth happening here and nice looking crops. A little slower than uh, my uh, usual crops, but still looking not bad. This wheatgrass has put on a ton of growth today, uh, nearly tripling in size. And the sunflower, it's growing. Uh, there's still a few more hulls on there than I'd like, and it maybe could have just used one more day in covering. So really happy with things so far. And what's important here is the crop looks healthy. We're not seeing any yellowing or any signs of nutrient deficiency or anything like that, which I was concerned of. But we've still got a couple more days of growth, so we'll see how it goes through the whole cycle. So overall, I'm quite happy. Just revisiting, we, as I said before, I've turned off the um, heating pad for this, and I think this is uh, working really well for the... Uh, there you go. Uh, I think this is really improving root growth on the uh, wheatgrass. And even though the sunflower likes the heat, I was seeing some damage on the roots of the sunflower as well. And they're cu still coming through. And I've turned the heating pad off for the sunflower. And they, the roots seem to like that as well. Now that's going to slow down growth for the sunflower. So what I would look at doing with these is maybe having a supplementary heat around here um, that wasn't directly under, uh, in like the case of the heat pad, or just keep the heat up a little bit in the room. We just tend to keep things a little cool in here. So really happy with things so far. So our terra fiber hemp mats at this point are perf performing quite well. I've already got uh, plans for the second trial, which I'll talk about in the future. And the question I'm having is, uh, as I look at how things are growing and seeing the tendency, say, of the wheatgrass roots to be underneath the tray is, and there is some moisture down here, but should the strategy in this case be to water the roots from below and assume that that is where they're going to take the water up from? Or to what degree does this water work down to the roots if I'm watering on this mat um, directly? And that's what I have been doing. I've been watering there and letting some of the excess go down, and that seems to be working. The question is, am I targeting these the roots here, or am I targeting the roots below? And I actually think I'm targeting the roots below in this case, but with the sunflower, you can see there's only a little bit of root coming through here. So a lot of root is up here in the fabric. So, and you see, like it's really right under the fabric there. So it's not really, it's really tending to stay under there. So that's really gonna speak to above, whereas the wheatgrass, like I can't even pull this fabric up. So you can see that these two crops have very, very different uh, rooting um, patterns in, in the mesh. So that's important in terms of how we might manage the water differently for both, or the same strategy might still work for both. So these are important things to just be familiar with. And yeah, again, looking really good with the terra fiber hemp mats. And let's see how they do over the next couple of days as we head towards uh, maturity and harvest time.